What is going on everyone and welcome back to Hollywood Studios. It is uh, an early morning. It's a little bit chilly for us Floridians because it's about 65 degrees. So 57? Oh my gosh. So it's a little bit chilly this morning. Uh, but we're here. We're going to have a great time. We're going to ride maybe a couple of things, have a couple of snacks, chill and just watch people and uh, just have an overall good time here at uh, Hollywood Studios. Let's go. So first stop today is going to be Tower of Terror, which I just did the Tower of Terror 10 miler. Uh, last week, I didn't get to actually ride Tower of Terror. So Donald's here today and we're gonna go crush it. Woo! All right, so it is officially park open and we just did rope drop today and we're rope dropping Tower of Terror. It says it's a 45 minute wait. So, Let's, uh, we're gonna find out if it actually is. So something to keep in mind is that here at Hollywood Studios, because of how they do the entrance, um, early morning magic or whatever for guests, was, which was from 7.30 to eight, um, there are already resort guests in here. So we might have a little bit of a wait, but hopefully not too long. And I don't think that it was anywhere near 45 minutes. We're gonna an express entrance onto the ride. Thank you. Oh, perfect. To our valued guests, for your safety once on board, please remain seated yeah, with your seatbelt fastened. We got row five, which in my opinion is one of the best rows. We just finished an amazing ride on Tower of Terror, which is always a lot of fun and just a great time. I always love uh, kids and their first time on Tower of Terror because they never really know what to expect. But the kids that were with us, they had a great time. And uh, so now we have, uh, you know what we haven't done yet, Donald? We haven't looked at Disney Genie to tell us where we should go next. But I think we're, we might try to get on to Star Tours because in my mind right now, I think that Hopefully it's not too busy. Everybody's still trying to make their way into uh, Slinky Dog or Rise of the Resistance, Smuggler's Run, all of that stuff. So we're gonna walk that way and just see. So the amount of time that it took us to walk from back at Sunset Boulevard to here at Dockside Diner, uh, we still didn't get an official wait time on Disney Genie for... for Star Tours, but we did see it on the sign back there. Which said five minutes. It's still creating our best day. It's, is it really? It's still creating that best day for us. It's telling us to go to Slinky Dog. It's, oh. Beyond the 855. I really find that hard to believe. Should we try? I mean, that's 15 minutes from now. Should we try? Sure. Let's go see what it looks like. My guess is, my guess is that that's not going to be the case, but let's see. Let's go see. It says it's a 45 minute wait. Where are we going to go? So that's not 15. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, do you want to go see or should no, we go to Star Tours? Go, All right. Yeah. So I think it's really funny, you know. Star Tours is That makes see it's really it's really strange how Disney Genie tries to control what you do for the day because again, Star Tours it says is five minutes and we might get over there and it might be forty five or something like that. I mean, who knows? But um, with that being said, it says it's still five on there, but it's telling us not to go till later in the day for a shorter wait ride. And it was telling us that we should go to Slinky Dog, which would be on in 15 minutes, but the wait time was 45. So, I don't know. I have thoughts, but they may not be correct. What's that? Go ahead. Like with Genie. Oh yeah, sure. Because I, I just feel like it's trying to plan an optimized day for someone who doesn't know what they're doing or doesn't come off or hasn't been. So it's gonna make sure that you have a lunch or dinner option if you're here for that. It's gonna try to hit as many of the rides or attractions or shows that you wanted to see while you're here and it's just gonna stack them in. Obviously. I feel like middle of the day is going to be the worst wait times for anything, right? So maybe that's the best time to send you to Star Tours because that's going to be like, you know, do the harder ones now. I don't know. I feel like it's just, I don't, pros don't really need it, but I think it lays it out nicely for a family who doesn't know. And it's just like, all right, here's your stuff and you're going to get to do a lot of things today. Yeah. I like, I like Donald's uh, positive take on Disney Genie. Mine is never so positive. 
All right, so five minutes. Let's see what the actual queue line looks like inside. He'll send the photography in the building. Okay, thank you. That is totally nice. Yeah. Attention, we are now ready to begin pre-boarding for flight 60. No adventure on Star Tours is complete without a trip to Batu. Here we go. So I think that this is probably one of my favorite places to walk into. It's so uniquely themed and really kind of sets you into the moment of actually being in a little kind of shop stallish area. Uh, it's just so cool. And I think it's just amazing. It's themed so well, so perfectly in here. I don't know that I've ever seen so many people sitting here waiting just for Kylo and the Stormtroopers to come out. Oh, this might be it. It's the best of the two. Prove me wrong that blue's better. So today is a Saturday morning, and I've got to say that it's actually been really, really loud right here. It's been really surprising that it's been not as busy as I would have expected. Um, for Saturday here at Hollywood Studios, maybe everybody's gone to Epcot for uh, Flower and Garden Festival. I don't know. But we're on a pretty good day so far. It's been chill. It's relaxing. We're not in a rush. You know, stop and get yourself a little uh, snack or something if you need to. I think we are going to move um, maybe towards Star Toy Story. Uh, and I don't know. We're going to see. We'll see what all the rest of the wait times are like. Donald, I have a question for you. Yes. Oh, wait, hold on. My focus isn't right. So are we getting lunch today? Are we staying long enough for lunch? It's highly probable. See, I have to make a life choice right now. What's do I that? wait for lunch or do I spoil lunch with one of the greatest snacks ever here in Hollywood Studios? Well, I need to know what the greatest snack in Hollywood Studios is according to you first. Well, you can only get it here at the market. The Num Num Cookie? The Num Num Cookie. That's your... Mm, I'm going to agree to disagree. What? The Carrot Cake Whoopie Pie from the Charlie Card Cafe. Maybe back in the All day. day. Back in the day. <laughs> but not anymore. I don't know. Let's go see. All right, so Donald just made a good point, which is that I forgot about the carrot cake whoopie pie. Now you're saying you like that one? I forgot about it. <laughs> Maybe I want to get that instead. All right, so something that we have not seen, or I haven't seen in a long time, I don't think Donald has either, is the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. So we're gonna see what the wait times are, or not wait times, but the show times are. And we're gonna come back and probably try to watch the first showing today um, because it's been so long and why not, right? All right, so Donald and I are trying to figure out what we're gonna do because we've got a little bit of time and we broke drop today. And uh, so Indiana Jones doesn't start till 1045. You know, Donald, we could do the second best show or maybe it's the best show in all of Hollywood studios. Which it, one is that? It only takes it's, it's never a long wait. It's in air conditioning. Are you talking about Frozen? No. <laughs> Muppets! Oh. So I know I might be alone in this. I support you on this one. I love the Muppets. But this is easily one of my favorite shows to see. It is super old and it needs to be updated. But it's a classic. Yeah. You threw me with show. I think this is more of an attraction. But, oh, it certainly is. It certainly is an attraction. <laughs> but it's also show. You get to sit down, relax in the AC. Sure, sure, There's sure. Carmen. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. The one of the only Mr. Mickey Mouse. So we just finished with Muppet Vision, and uh, I will say that one thing that I hope here soon is that we'll see the rest of these shops and stuff open up back here, because this is always like, uh, I don't know, a little nostalgic for me, because when we would finish watching 
Muppets, we would come back here and walk through the store, go through the Christmas shop over here, which has been closed for forever. It's just like a nice little place to just kind of walk through and meander. All right, and now we're gonna go watch Indiana Jones. This is the first time that I've watched this and I don't even know how long. Oh, we're actually queuing. They're actually queuing us. Look, there's already people in this line. I wonder how far back it's gonna go. Obviously, even if there's a queue, like you're gonna get a seat. So it's a huge show space. But I haven't seen this in years, maybe. Same. Maybe, I, I'm pretty sure. Not that there's actually much to see back here, but again, I've never actually walked through here uh, into this queue space, which is kind of cool. Seeing something different. They do have some cool props back here, though. through the store right now and I always find it really interesting when you find non-specific park merchandise in another park. So we saw the Epcot uh, cookie jars in here. They have the Coke bottles from all the parks in here. And now we're looking at the pins in the pin area here. Now, not that you're not gonna find just specific things here, but it always is just kind of interesting to me. So we made it back and I wanted to just take a second. I know it might be a little bit bouncy and echoey, echoey, echoey in here. Um, but I just got back home. We had a great day at Hollywood Studios. It was awesome. We skipped snacks and we skipped lunch because by the time we came out of Indiana Jones, uh, it was about 11.15. And surprisingly, or surprisingly not, uh, there's actually nowhere we could actually walk up to do waitlisting and there were no reservations available in the park. So we could only do quick service and we didn't really want to do quick service. But one thing I did want to mention is that if you haven't seen, which I didn't, I mean, I saw this, but I didn't really get to see it. Um, are the new Coke bottles, which are pretty cool. And um, I think what's really awesome is just that, you know, they got the 50th theme on them. So I thought maybe we could only get the 50th and uh, Hollywood Studios. And there's really not that much difference between them. There's really nothing like all that different um, about any of the bottles, other than the fact that uh, they just have a slightly different design. But I was able to pick all five of them up at Hollywood Studios. And the first two were actually uh, compliments of cast members. So thank you very much for providing me my first two. And then we have the other three over here. So super cool. Hollywood Studios is always great. A lot of fun. Obviously, Galaxy's Edge makes it almost a full day park now. But even so, um, just remember, if you guys are going in to use Disney Genie or Lightning Lane, um, be wise about your Lightning Lane decisions. Today we were seeing people going into Indiana Jones using Lightning Lane um, and or your Disney Genie Plus selection. So, you know, make sure that you know what you're doing whenever you're going to be spending the money or maybe money's not an object. But uh, try to use those Genie Passes the best that you possibly can, which most of the time is going to be for the harder to get attractions, right? The ones that you don't really have to the ones you really do have to wait in a long line in for. So, but we had a great day today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I'll always see you, or I guess we will see you in the next one.